Right, we'll start with the Vic Mark chuck first. Now, I've taken the insert out because the cover hits on the back here if you don't remove it. So, undo these two little screws here. And that is why you have a magnet so they don't fall everywhere and roll into the sawdust. Put them on the magnet when you take them out. Remove the cover. Now inside here, what you find is two pinion gears like that. And if you're a motor mechanic, you'd say that that was a crown wheel. So what we've got to do is remove the two little dowels, metal dowels that hold these pinions in. Again, using the same Allen key. Put them on a magnet as well. You don't want them rolling away or you, you'll be useless after that. Now once these are out, you can slide the pinion out like that. Now these little dowels just fit into there like that to stop the pinions from sliding out through the body there. So put them in there, get the other pinion out. Now you've exposed the circlip down in here. You've got to remove that circlip in order to get the scroll out. Put safety glasses on because circlips can spring rather well. So open out the circlip. Now another little trick is to put a cloth over the circlip like that so if it does fight happen to slip it doesn't go anywhere particularly into your face okay so we've got that out and as you can see it's quite a sizable circlip so there's a lot of power in those things if they do decide to go now all you do is flip the chuck over and I give it a little bit of a bang if it doesn't come out that way you can insert a couple of screwdrivers down in here just to push the scroll out like so now, if you have to force anything badly, there's something wrong. So, they should slide together fairly well without any force at all. This is a fairly new chuck. It's never been apart before, so and it's never had any wear. So things are a little bit firm on it. Right, now we're left with our jaws in there. And if you have a look here, you'll see the stop pin. Now you can't slide that jaw out there past the stop pin. So the way you pull it apart, slide those other three out, like so on their slides. Now I leave the jaws on the slides because it gives you something to hang on to and manoeuvre things around. Now we're up to this one here which is held in by the stop pin. Just slide it out that side like that. Now you can remove the stop pin by getting a pin punch down inside there but really there's no need to take it out so I've never ever bothered taking any out just leave it in there and uh, put up with it now the reason that it works number four jaw is that on this there's a slot cut in there and the pin goes up into there and then hits on this tooth here so they can't come out any further than that. It's a good safety feature because a lot of people in the early days used to extend the chucks until it, the scroll was only handling, holding by that one part there. And we had a few things fly out. Now the four jaw self-centering scroll chuck, there's that name again, gets its name from this little part here. That's the scroll. It's a spiral thread. And when you wind it in and out, these teeth engage in there like so. When you wind it around, the slides move in and out because everything is captive, so it can't go anywhere except move the way the thread goes. Just like a nut and a bolt in a vertical sort of a way. Okay, so we've got it all apart. Wash everything up, lightly grease it, and then we can start putting it back together again. Now, assembly is the reverse of pulling it apart. So get jaw number four, make sure you get it round the right way, 
slip it up into there against the stop. Now, force of habit with me, I always put number one at the top and remember in an earlier video I said that the Vic mark goes one, two, three and four. So the next one we need is number two, which is here. Slip that in. Number three. Now, if you pick the chuck up at the moment, there is a good chance that those jaws would slide out. So, in order to stop that, get a rubber band, slip it over the jaws. Now they can't fall out anywhere. Just make sure they're fairly centered in the chuck and turn the chuck over. Now, you put the scroll side down, like so, slip it in there, and hopefully it all goes together nice and easily. Okay, it just clicked into place. Now you can see that the circlet can fit into that groove there now. Now again, get the circlet pliers, get your circlet. Now because you have to see what you're doing here, you can't put the cloth over it very easily. So just space your fingers at each side of the circlet like that, just in case the pliers slip. Still got my safety glasses on, and then slide it down over the boss. Now, that's closed right in, but I always check by getting a hammer and a punch, and just hitting the eyes of the circlet, which is where the pliers go in, and the back of it, to make sure that it's all in there properly. Then, put one of your pinions in, and make sure that everything rotates nice and smoothly and that the jaws open up evenly and more importantly when you close it back down again that they're still even. You don't want a jaw that sits right out here. So I'll put that pinion back in there like so. Drop the dowel in. Put the other one in. Put the dowel in there. Now, as I said before, just lightly tighten them up because the cover holds them in anyway, if they do happen to come loose. So that's that one. There's that one. Cover, make sure you put the screw holes in the right place. Again, don't over tighten these because they're that small that you can strip them. So just put them on there like that. And just use the short end of the Allen key just to tighten them up. Now if you've done everything right, you should have a chuck that operates nice and smoothly. And all the jaws and slides are even. Okay, thank you for watching. Until next time, see you later. Bye.